Okay, YouTube. So today I'd like to uh, talk to you guys a little bit about the Rockford Fosgate PA1. This is a full DIN model. They also make a half DIN model, the PA1 HD, but this is the PA1 model here. Um, I actually have two of those, so I'll be focusing on this one here so I can show you the back and stuff like that. Um, so basically what you have is you have a volume knob, a fader knob, bass, mid, and treble, and each of those bass, mid, and treble have a negative 12 dB to positive 12 dB, um, you know, potentiometer. Um, you also have uh, inputs for tape or CD, which is nice. You can see on the back here, you have the CD input, the tape input, non-faded, which would be your subwoofer channel, and your rear and your front inputs. On the underside, you can see that you have uh, gain controls. Sorry about the glare here. Um, you also have um, clip indicator and the display indicator, which allows you to set your clip indicator um, on your LEDs on the front. It goes from green to yellow to red, and then there's two dots at the top that show clipping. I'll give you a quick, uh, quick example of that here. Sorry, I had to use some royalty-free music, so hopefully YouTube don't cut this off, but you can see the lights, you know. So I mean you can see you can see how the LEDs function. Um, it's pretty cool. So um, what I'm gonna do here is I'll I'll pause this and I'm gonna put a clip in here just showing you the uh, the manual and some of the specs on this. Um, and what we're gonna do, we have the Veilman uh, pocket oscilloscope today, the HPS 140. So we'll actually be able to see the difference in voltage output that you gain from having this in between your head unit and your amplifiers. Um, because you have the secondary volume knob down here, it does give you the ability to gain signal voltage strength above and beyond your typical two volt deck. We're gonna see exactly how much higher voltage clean we can get out of the PA1 as opposed to the Alpine CDE 102 that I'm running. And I can show you the difference in just a second here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pause. Okay, so what I have set up is a thousand hertz tone recording at zero dB recording level. Um, I got the alligator clips on the RCAs out of the head unit and I got the scope here reading and we're gonna see how loud we can turn it up before it clips. What we get for output RCA voltage on that. Okay, so we see clip in there, pretty hard clip. We're gonna back it off. Um, clips right about there. Anything beyond that is all hard clip. So right there we're good. Right there we're starting to clip. So it looks like we can get 3.67 volts and we can go to 32 on this Alpine CDE 102. As you can see, 33 is where we start the clip, and the head unit goes to 35. So I mean, it's not a bad head unit, um, you know, to be able to go that that loud without clipping. But uh, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hook the alligator clips to the outputs of the PA1 and see if we can get yeah, a little I bit. Got the thousand hertz zero dB tone, and this time here we're gonna turn the volume up. We got the volume already set on the deck. We're gonna we're gonna watch the scope, and uh, we're gonna see what we get when I start turning up the volume over here on the PA1 and we'll see what we can get for clean voltage out before we see any clipping. Okay, so there's some clipping there, some hard clipping. So we're going to back it off, clip. Okay, so it looks like we get about 10 volts out of the, uh, out of the PA1 before we see 
any kind of real hard clip you know we start getting that 11 volt range you know so yeah we're able to get a good solid 10 yeah right about there a good solid 10 volts before we see any kind of clipping so I mean that's uh that's pretty good um, you know definitely beats the uh, 3.7 volts out of the head unit so you know it gives you a nice a nice clean signal um, good strong uh, noise floor you know to try to avoid like alternator wine and stuff like that um, so I guess the uh, you know the last thing I want to check is to see if we actually gain 12 decibels by twisting the knob or we lose 12 decibels by twisting the knob and I can do that I have a SSA APM1 um, decibel meter uh, you can find that online I'll put links in the description for all this stuff you know I'll try to find a, a PA for sale if I can find one I'll put a link um, you know the CDE one will do these this is old stuff so I mean it's it's not like you can just run out and buy this stuff um, the Veilman scope definitely yeah I'll put a link to that and I'll put a link to the APM one I think it's like 400 bucks for that and I think the scope is around maybe like a hundred bucks or so but uh, all right so I'm gonna go ahead and get everything set up and we'll do some metering and we'll see if we really actually gain 12 decibels by uh, by twisting the knob okay, so Give me a second. I got the APM one on here and I got this all set up so that way when I unpause it we're gonna have a uh, 130 decibels in here at a 45 Hertz which is pretty much where this is set at the crossover slope here it's plus or minus 12 DB at 45 so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit the go button it's gonna go a little loud on the video I'll watch this I'll turn the knob we'll see if we can't gain 12 DBs Okay, so it looks like we uh, we did gain the 12 dBs there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unpause it again and turn it down and see if we can lose 12 dBs. That's all the way, it's 17. So we're losing about 13, 12 and a half, 13 dBs. And it looks like we're gaining about 12 and a half. So I mean, it's, it's definitely pretty close. It's interesting to see that the knob actually uh, actually does what it says it does, so that's pretty cool. So uh, in conclusion here, um, I'd say if you can go ahead and grab one of these, if you can find one, the Rockford uh, Punch PA1 preamp, it's a uh, it's a pretty decent unit, and you know, it'll definitely help you boost your signal, especially if you have an older deck, you know, one that's even older than this, or even a modern deck that's just has a weak like two volt signal out you can definitely uh increase your output signal to your amplifiers utilizing uh, a preamp like this i know they make other preamps i'm just a fan of the uh the old school rockford here so uh yeah and and it's interesting that you get the uh you know you get get 12 db gain um just by uh just by twisting your knob here um, all right. Hey, thanks. If you like these videos, um, please, you know, please like it and uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, I'd really appreciate it and have a great day.